So why choose a sandbag? If you're only of the do more faster school of thought, these might not be your first tool of choice. Because each rep with the sandbag demands a level of awareness, a presence that you might not normally need from a barbell or a dumbbell or something that's fixed, solid, doesn't move around. This thing flops. This thing moves around like crazy. It's like a bag full of puppies. Each rep is going to be a little different. Each squat is going to be a little different. Each press is going to be a little different. Each clean is going to go a slightly different place. Enough to be sort of an homage to Ram Das, and you have to sort of be here now with the sandbag. You can't just go for speed and volume. You need to have quality of movement as job number one. In this video, we're going to delve into movement that's not just a straight line forward. We're going to go left and right, lateral movement. It's a little different from what you might be used to. So much of the gym is what we call sagittal, going this way. We're going to go left to right. It's a concept we call wagging the tail, letting your hip direct the motion. The temptation is to turn from the spine, to take the chest and want to twist it left and right, which means the turn actually comes from the spine. But we're going to lock the spine in place, like you would for a squat or a deadlift. That's the shape. Remember, I talk about shapes a lot. That's the shape we're going to have, a squat or a deadlift shape with the upper body. The movement's going to come from the hips. They're really good at moving left and right. The hips love to do that if you do it right. Looks like a little dance. So we're not going to do a twisty, squirmy move. Locking this in place, wagging the tail. Hips go left, hips go right. Hips can turn left and right really well. The chest is directed by the hips, not leading the hips, but pushed into position by the hips going the opposite direction. So wagging the tail. Hips go one way, torso turns the other way. Now let's see where we can go with this. Like a side to side deadlift. It's a deadlift, but you go side to side. So you keep the shape of the deadlift, you squish the trolls, you stay proud, you hinge at the hips and bend the knees, but you turn, you wag the tail. The direction of the hips dictates where you go. If the hips go to the left, the bag goes to the right. Goes right to the outside of the foot, touch the ground, come back up. Rosary beads of sweat pour out my pores. Carbon fiber, fiber, optic, optical illusion. OCD, ADD, alphabetical. Let's add some speed. The tail wag is essential here, but it's fast. You snap it in the opposite direction, causing the bag to fly up. Snap in one direction, bag goes in the other direction, like you're trying to throw it. For a slightly different variation, harder in some ways, easier in others, don't let the bag touch the ground, keeping constant tension throughout the motion. Now, one key element of the tail wag is to also absorb the force on the way down, not just create force on the way up. The shovel swing starts right below the hips to the side. It snaps the bag up to the center of the body, then absorbs the force on the other side just to repeat it. The tail has to wag and absorb in both directions to really make this movement count. Don't lose your shape. I've opened more doors than Jim Morrison. On Thorazine, angel dust, morphine, bloodbath, horrocene. ESP delivery, my thoughts translate, my nose bleeds, your ears see. This is taking the snap and the absorb of the tail wag to a much fuller scale. Once again, the snap gets the weight moving, but where? This time around your head. After it travels around the head, it goes right back to the ground. You absorb it with the tail wag, only to re-snap yet again, get that tail wagging so the weight travels around your body again. It's a complete halo around the head. If the weight is a little heavier, the halo is going to be smaller, keeping the weight close to the body. If the weight is a little lighter, the halo will be larger. The snap can create a bigger circle around the body. 